Hey everyone, it's Clary here. Today we're diving into the new Server Pro panel and I'll be showing you how to navigate it like a pro. Assuming you already have a Server Pro account, head over to the Servers page. Here, you'll see a list of your servers. Pick the one you want to manage and click on it. This brings you to the Servers Overview page. This is your central hub. You can see all of your services running here. For example, I have Minecraft and Palworld. You can also tweak settings here like hostname and location, or even upgrade your plan if needed. Now we can click on a specific service. Each one has its own configuration page. Just click on the service you want to manage and you'll have everything you need at your fingertips, from console access to file editing. Firstly, there's the Metrics tab. Here you can see the status page of your VPS with graphs. You can take a look at the CPU, memory, disk, and download and upload speed. Next on the spotlight, we have the SFTP feature. This is another way of accessing your files. This means that you can add a user on this tab and then use an external program such as WinSCP or FileZilla to connect to your service files. A nifty feature we think you ought to know about is the file size calculator. In case you want to know what folders or files are taking up the most space on your server, you can head to the files tab and then select any folders you want to know the size of. Afterwards, click on the show folder sizes button and you'll be able to see their sizes. Are you tired of remembering repetitive server tasks? Well, the scheduler is your answer. The scheduler can assist you in creating automatic tasks. All you have to do is click create task and set the schedule. So you can set the exact day, time, hour, minute, and then you can set the specific command you want to run. The most common command type is usually the restart. You can just select that and press create to set it up. Backing up your server is crucial. Here in the backup section, you can see a history of your backups, including date, time, and size. You can also see if the backup was automatically made or manual. If you need a fresh copy, all you have to do is click the Create Backup button. Furthermore, to explore the contents of a backup, use this designated button. It'll let you look into the specific files inside. Keep in mind that you can only have three backups at a time and the lifespan is only up to 72 hours. Backups are also taken every 24 hours and they overwrite the oldest one. Now, restoring can be a bit delicate. The restore service feature brings back only specific server files like Minecraft server data, whilst the restore backup feature restores your entire VPS, including all services and files. So make sure you choose wisely here. Granting access to other players is also a common question we get. The admin section lets you share server access with friends. They'll need a server per account, so make sure they have one set up first. Here you can grab them full access minus critical settings or complete control. The choice is yours. All you have to do is enter that email. Remember, you can grant specific access to specific services as well. Once you're happy, click add user and they're in. Lastly, many players often look to change the server location and this tab is where you can do it. All you have to do is select the new location you want and transfer it. Keep in mind you can only alter your location up to two times a day. Remember, this is just the beginning. There's a whole world of server management features to explore on Server Pro. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.